What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we have some great, great news. You saw in the last video what happened with the Black M5. That was a very unfortunate event. It took some time to get all that resolved. Um, but I'm happy to announce that we are back in an M car. Yes, let me show it to you. Please welcome the Voodoo Blue F90 M5 competition. <laughs> unbelievable. This is so unbelievable. I found this car on a random site online, reached out. It was a private private seller um, out in California. Um, we've gone back and forth. I, I was told him how serious I was. And after, you know, uh, some time and dealing with insurance and all of that stuff, uh, we were able to make it happen. So here it is in all of its glory. Um, it has just the most unique look to this. I don't know. I've never seen an M5 in this in this shade of blue. And I'm absolutely, absolutely in love with it. It is so good. So Voodoo Blue, individual color um, on same 706M wheels. It is a 2019. This time we did not get the Tartufo brown interior. This time it is just black interior. Still, I find that it looks absolutely, absolutely amazing. Really, really cool. It has about half of the mileage that the last one had. It was just a fantastic deal. I cannot believe that I found it. I cannot believe it that someone else didn't scoop it. And then I can't believe it that it's here. It's here. So anyway, um, I flew out to California. I drove it back. It was a fantastic trip, but it was all nighttime. So I didn't actually get to um, shoot any content. I was just trying to make it back because there was a big storm heading our way in Colorado. The car was actually on Mission Pilot Sport 4 S's. And those are very, very um, summer oriented tires. And they are they tend to get very uh, hard and cold. So um, yeah, all of my plans to drive through the cool cool places, stop at some, uh, some places, get some cool videos and stuff didn't really work out just because of that. I had to uh, take an alternate route and all this stuff. But the main point is we're here, the car is here. We have an M5 again on the channel. You guys get to see it. It's a great thing. But now that the car is in not California, not LA area, not somewhere where it's just beautiful and warm weather all day, every day, uh, we are in cold, mostly sunny, but today cold Colorado. So we could basically end the video right here as you've now seen the car and all of that. Uh, but we're gonna basically turn this M5 into a winter utility sports vehicle. So I've already started by putting winter tires on. So we have Bridgestone Blizzak um, tires. They are 295, 35, 20 square. Yes. We have 295 um, width tires in the front. Um, as you can see, they don't really poke out. There's no rubbing. Uh, stock are 275, 35, 20, and 285, 35, 20. Now we just have 295 all around. Um, no vibration, no nothing, no problem. It, uh, they actually work really, really well. Let's quickly go over all the things that are on this car that maybe weren't on the last car. On the last car, we had uh, M Performance splitters from the factory. Uh, there was nothing in the middle, no lip. Um, we also had we also had M Performance OEM lip spoiler. Now we just have this pathetic excuse for a spoiler, uh, and it's also in gloss black. The last one was uh, carbon fiber, and we had uh, OEM M Sport or M Performance diffuser in carbon fiber. This one is just uh, black, so. That is about it that we had on the last car. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same. The black car was tuned. Uh, however, this one is not. This car is this car is bone stock, um, and yeah, 
I'll probably keep it that way for a little bit anyway. At least until the weather is all nicer. Next, we have these anniversary badges everywhere. Uh, they are done on the, on the front. They are done on each wheel. And they're also done in the, in the back. Yep, right here. So, yeah. No other mods are done. Uh, everything else is kind of up to us to do. So it's kind of a blank canvas, which I actually really enjoy now uh, that we get to sort of personalize this car the way that uh, the way that we want. So aside from announcing the you know the car, the tires, and all that, I actually am taking a few friends um, snowboarding tomorrow. So we have a big snowstorm coming, and we need to be able to fit these snowboards and four people in this car. So to make to help us with that, we're actually going to use these these crossbars and these ski clamps. Um, yeah, they're gonna go on the F90, and F90 is gonna turn into a sports utility vehicle. Super excited! Sports utility vehicle is actually SUV. I guess it's not gonna be a SUV. It's just gonna have utilitarian purpose, which is still pretty cool. How many unique color F90s do you see just, you know, with skis on top of it and going, going up in the mountains in the middle of, a, middle of a snowstorm? I love that. Okay, so to get started, we're gonna locate all of our little mounting points. So this is where they are. We can just go ahead and open it up. Okay, so it was, it's already got dark, so we're back inside now, but essentially what we'll do is we pull this up. This um, shows us that there is now a hole down there. We take one of these, which came with your Tuli roof crossbars, and you install it like so. And you essentially repeat the process on the remaining ones. As we can see, 23 is front left, 24 is front right, 25 is rear left, and 26 is rear right. So we have those parts here. We now just have to, we now just have to put, put these in like so, they click. that in and then we put these little plastic pieces in there as well and those will basically align um, align this little piece with the hole right there and one of the holes is larger than the other and one of these is also larger than the other so that will tell you how it needs to go in and that clicked in next we will take the four bolts they are five millimeter allens we put each of these on top this is going to secure it we'll just make sure this one says 25 so the way that it'll, it'll go is the lip kind of goes on the outside so it turns out that i did these wrong <clears throat> these are supposed to be reversed it is actually this way that they should go the metal taller wall out this this way and you can see now it fits better too <laughs> funny what happens when you follow the instructions the right way okay so now we can use this fit kit and attach it to the end of our Thule arrow blade you can see that there's these tracks right here and there's this little nubbin and that nubbin will go through the tracks so we just slide that in. We can use this to kind of stop it. And then on top here, we will just cover it up so that it doesn't fall off anymore. There we go. Now we will just make sure that we adjust the, the width for the right, um, the right width for that and um, tighten everything up. So the way that this works is you have this little clamp um, you can actually freely un 
unscrew this a little bit so that you have um, so that you have enough room. And yeah, as you now, you now it doesn't come up. So like as you as you put it on, you just pull this little black part out. You can see that there's like a little latch right there, and that latch has to latch like so, and then you will tighten this a little bit and now it doesn't come up then you will walk to the other side and do the same once you've done both sides you will just go ahead and tighten this so the included thing is also a torque wrench or torque ratchet or whatever you want to call it it is automatically set to four newton meters which is also what this says is four newton meters so it'll just stop automatically so you cannot over tighten it it's pretty smart. There you go.